Thank you for your attention, greeting, and appreciation to all of you who have come to Twenty Two Hours Channel. Thank you for joining us in the news program. Today we will update the hottest and most accurate news about the social and political situation in the country and the world. Now let's dive into the highlight of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, in the past few days. Many parts of China have been hit by severe storms. The Shanxi and Meteorological Observatory continued to issue a yellow warning signal for thunderstorms and strong winds at 8:56 a.m. on Thursday last week. Wind gusts in some areas can reach level seven or higher, accompanied by thunder, short-term local heavy rains, and hourly rainfall that can reach more than 10 millimeters. Videos posted online show flood waters flooding the urban area, streets turning into rivers. A day earlier, this locality had heavy rain. Some areas were heavily flooded. Online videos show items such as refrigerators floating on water, with depths below a person's chest, where the water level can submerge a person. A firefighter stepped out of a flooded cave with a child in one hand, rowing and swimming in the other. According to mainland media reports, a total of four people were trapped, but all were rescued. On Wednesday last week, Beijing issued a blue rainstorm warning. Referring to moderate to heavy rain and heavy rain in some areas on Wednesday and Thursday, the Beijing Flood Control Office suggested that all units take staggered off-peak hours. A day earlier, the Rizhou City Meteorological Observatory, Shandong, issued a red storm warning signal. Individual towns in Rizhou's Chu County, Dongying District, and Yulian County received more than 100 millimeters of rain in three hours and more than 50 millimeters in one hour. A resident of the Kuhain Mountain Scenic Area in Wulian District, Rizhou City, told a reporter of Voice of Hope, "It rained very quickly at noon, and the rain was especially heavy." The announcement was made yesterday afternoon that the scenic spot was temporarily closed. When we'll open, we'll notify. The Jiangsu Meteorological Bureau, Suzhou, issued a warning for rainstorms at 2:42 p.m. on the same day. After that, dark clouds covered the city in many parts of Suzhou and strong winds. Reaching level 12 in some places. At about 3 o'clock, a bus stop on Thoifang Street north of Engotrin District, Suzhou, was stopped, was blown away by the wind, and the bricks fell to the ground. On the same day, there was also a strong wind blowing in Hongsun. Many electric bicycles were blown away. The operator fell to the ground and could not get up. Under the strong wind, some garbage flew everywhere. Scrap metal frames. Iron buckets and other items scattered on the ground. On the previous day, thunder, high wind, is extremely heavy rain again to visit Zhengzhou. At about 6 p.m. at rush hour, Zhengzhou urban area was suddenly covered with dark clouds, thunder and lightning, and then suddenly there was strong wind and heavy rain. Then the road was flooded. Maximum wind power is level 10, Mr. Wu, a resident of Zhengzhou, said, "It has been raining heavily in Zhengzhou for the past few days." Some cars have been flooded and vehicles have been damaged. The whole drainage system in Zhengzhou is not good. Just a heavy rainstorm, the drainage system will immediately be flooded, and the government will not care about it. The flood phenomenon cannot be changed. The northern part of Zhengzhou and the northern part of Henan are also relatively severe. Some people even captured the rare blue sky moment before the heavy rain. Some netizens couldn't help but ask, "Is this city condemned by God?" Whenever there is heavy rain in Zhengzhou, people will subconsciously think of the torrential downpour in Zhengzhou in July 2021, and the heavy casualties caused by flooding at subway station. No, Wang. Talking about these things, Mr. Wu said with a little anger, 2021 is largely caused by man-made disasters, with hundreds of thousands of people fleeing. The villagers of Trakshou revolted against the mounting public anger. Continuous torrential rains in Beijing. Tianjin and Hebei have affected hundreds of thousands of people, forcing more than a million people to evacuate. In particular, Trakshou, Hebei has become the most disaster-prone area for the government to release floods. At midnight on Tuesday, the authorities secretly released the flood. After discovering, the local people resisted and clashed with the police. The anger of the villagers is growing, and the villagers have made it clear that they will go directly to the authorities. After the flood in Zhuizhou. Hebei, Baigu, Tanlap Trang, Tengqiu, and other places in Hebei are also in danger. The emergency evacuation was announced, 
supposedly without an official unified organization. For a time the evacuation vehicles were stuck in the streets and unable to move. A lot of people had to be evacuated and had nowhere to go. Late at night wandering on the streets, including many elderly people and children, people couldn't help but feel sorry. Affected by storms, continuous rainfall and upstream flood discharge, which have turned Juju and Hebe into a vast ocean, a large number of people in Juju are still trapped in the water and need to be rescued. Emergency Rescue At the same time, villages and towns around Galbidian city downstream of Juju are also in critical condition. Video messages circulating on the internet show that late on Wednesday night, Galbidian City's Baigudown government temporarily notified residents below the third floor to evacuate. For a time, the streets were filled with vehicles rushing by. In a video, a resident of Bokkau said, For the first time in a hundred years, Dai Bokkau is so vibrant, and now it is 1.30 lam. Video shot from above shows the road full of motionless cars. Another resident said, At 3.28 am. The exit to the international highway was congested for two kilometers, and there was still a long line of cars waiting behind. Another resident said, Iron from night to morning without leaving Bokkau. In another video, a resident of Bokkau said it was impossible to leave, and the supermarket was basically sold out. One young man, probably from Gaobaidian, appealed to local residents with vacant homes to help accommodate temporary residents. He said, If there is an empty house in Gaobaidian, Please contact me. We are currently running for public benefit and free of charge. Recently, Bokkau was urgently evacuated, Trakchao was flooded, Tanlap train was evacuated urgently, and now NQ is also evacuated. We have begun to evacuate. Now tens of thousands of people are homeless on the streets. The street is brightly lit. Currently, the surrounding villages and towns have been occupied. Kaobaidian is still safe. So our family members have an empty house and I can help. Currently, hotels and daily rentals are full. Many elderly people are standing in the streets, and many children have nowhere to go. Pitiful. He also thanks several villagers for helping to receive the refugees at such a late hour. You are all good people. According to some media reports, the day before at about 12 o'clock at night, residents near Baigunu City received an emergency notice saying that Due to heavy rain and flooding in Juju, the local river had at risk of embankment breaking, local people, residents living in self-built wooden houses, shops and floors on the first and second floors were evacuated overnight. That night, there was also a big traffic jam. The convoy wriggled several kilometers in the urban area. Many netizens asked, Faced with such an emergency, why not open all the doors of the expressway toll booths so that people can quickly leave, thereby minimizing risk? The next day, the local expressway management department replied that they had not received a notice from their superiors about the free passage if all vehicles on the road did not withdraw their cards. It would put great pressure on the drivers. Other toll stations when they collect tolls. As for the traffic jam at the highway intersection, it is because some car owners don't know where to go after leaving, causing a large number of vehicles to jam at the intersection, affecting smooth traffic. According to mainland media reports Southern Metropolis Daily, Baigu has a special geographical position near Xiong'an New Area and not far from Beijing, so it has taken over some industries while liberate the non-core functions of the capital. Baigu is the largest luggage production and sales base in China and also has the largest personal luggage market in the country, dubbed the luggage capital of China. In Baikau New City, there are a large number of luggage-related merchants including sales shops, manufacturers and even leather goods raw material manufacturers and equipment distributors. This also means that luggage is closely linked to residents' possessions, and flooding can mean tens or even tens of millions of you on in damage. Some people who fled by cow by car overnight, seeing that the flood did not appear as expected, ran back the next day. One boss said on Twitter, It's not that I don't want to leave, but half of my net worth is in storage, so don't worry about leaving. Hydrologically, the Beigu River passes through the city, its source being the Peking River from Zhuzhu, and its downstream empties into the Daqing River. The former is suffering from severe flooding after heavy rain in North China, and upstream floods plus localized rainfall and river overflow. According to reports, by 12 noon on Tuesday, 
someone noticed that the water level outside by County City had dropped, and residents were discussing on social media whether they could go home. But the water will not disappear from the thin air, and the flood control pressure of the entire Baikal Basin is still great. A rescue team noticed water levels in villages southeast of Juju in the upstream area rising, with some reaching the second floor. The officials in charge of Baikal Town and the area said they are not sure whether water will flow from upstream in the future, and whether the water of the Baikal River will rise. Currently I have not received a notification that I can transfer back, if I have already withdrawn. It is best to wait a few days outside. Our newsletter for today is here to end, please leave any feedback below in the comments. If you find it interesting, give us a like, comment, share and press the bell to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and see you soon. The recent information concludes our new program on 22 Hour Channel. Thank you all for your attention and viewership. Please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon and share this video so that more viewers can follow you. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.